large leap. Mm-hmm. But um, I just feel like as long as I can serve the people who really, 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 I can tell love what I do from a musical perspective, then I feel like I ain't doing the wrong thing, you know? <laughs> right, right. I think, too, um, kind of when did you, did, was there something specific that happened where when you noticed, okay, it's more than two or three people? Like, it's a, like, it's a, lot, of, like it's a lot of people now? No, I, I still be, one thing, bro, about me, People always be asking me like, "What's wrong with me?" in like different ways. But like, I don't, I be in disbelief of a lot. You know, I don't even believe that this album's gonna be, like. You know what I'm saying? It's all still dawning on me like every single day. But it's just, I just see this whole thing as a blessing. Like just to be able to do this, be able to impact this. You know, GT. Mm-hmm. None of you talking about from Detroit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. GT. When we was on tour, he told me, bro. Wake up and thank God every day. Like, you get to change somebody's life with your voice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he told me, like, bro, you know, we worked hard doing other things. And we done made a lot of money doing other things. And we out here trying to rap like how you trying to rap because, you know what I'm saying, we love this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of where I take it from my inspiration in terms of, like, too many like how much people shit like that it's just more like being able to touch one person and touch them a certain way that that means the most to me you know right um I, I, one thing I definitely notice about you is uh, something you bring up a lot is working on the craft and always trying to get better and trying to evolve and it's not like a it's not in like a competition way where you're like competing with other people it's like a race with yourself because i think you already see it for yourself like you already see like kind of how far you can take this and even past that but mm-hmm. kind of where is that coming from where you're so kind of like solely committed because i mean that's not really that's not a common thing amongst artists in any genre where they're so committed to i'm just i'm just working on this and so they put so much of their energy into just strictly like that like you don't get wrapped up in other stuff you do shows and you make music and you live yeah. and like <laughs> like that's just kind of how you approach it. I was watching this lucky interview and he said some shit that like he said it perfect. He said, "Bro, like he was talking about baby face writing them again." <laughs> he, was, he was saying <laughs> uh, he was saying that like he learned from them like not to get caught up in the distractions because our work is a distraction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like. Bro, this part, like, the rapper shit, and again, back to what GT told me, like, the rapper part of this shit is the funnest part of it for me. Mm-hmm. So keeping it fun, keeping it fresh, keeping it where, like, um, I'm competing with myself, keeping it where I'm trying to improve on my own design is what's going to allow me to do this thing for life. And this is something that I loved in a way since I was a little boy. I knew when I was 16 that in 10 years I wanted to be something. I ain't gonna say what. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I, I never thought I could do nothing for 10 years before that, especially not at that age. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely just doing my thing be the central focus of, like, my self-improvement and shit like that. Right. Um, I was I was listening to um, End of Earth, and I know that you kind of had taken some time between, like, putting out projects, um, but you also stressed, like, sounding drastically different from spot to spot like making sure you're not like just kind of going back to the well mm. um kind of like how do you like make sure you do that is that also part of the shutting out distractions thing because you have to be focused on yourself to keep that up it's also just a part of me like in my like diverse influences where i want to represent myself fully and cover mm-hmm. all the bases you know what i'm saying like as far as like I don't wanna I don't wanna leave anything about myself out of something that's like so representative of me like 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 a project, you know? Mm-hmm. No, that's me. Um, I know that um of course, uh, I was gonna ask about the uh you know, the tour when you were with uh Babyface Ray, Jack Harlow. Um mm-hmm. you you talked about kind of how you grew from it and like the things you took from just being on the road and like, like it just kind of drawing from that in general. Hell yeah. Is that important? Like kind of how important is it for you to kind of just be in the moment with your career and like really man, happening? I know that's hard. A lot of times that's like really difficult 
for younger artists because you know just like you said so much is always happening but it's know, definitely super important but i think i focus on staying in the moment by like attaching myself to the lessons that i learned like jack harlow and babyface ray everybody involved with the whole tour they just like they them two guys in specific are like really good champions like to me you know what i'm saying in terms of like the people who comprise their team in terms of every single position on their team Right. It's people that have been comprising of their team, like, for a long time. And so, like, it's, like, a blessing for all of them to participate and just to watch and to be a part of this journey. And so that inspired me, like, just knowing that, like, what I'm doing now, the seeds that I'm planting now is going to fruit in in a way that's, that I can't even imagine quite yet. You mm -hmm. know? And, th and bo both of them was impressing that upon me. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Yeah, bro. And I, I, I went through a lot, like, like, a, like my album is basically about what I went through on tour and what I went through when I came home from tour. You know what I'm saying? The immediate aftermath and how jarring that, that adjustment was. So that was definitely a life experience that I knew was catching lightning in a bottle. So I definitely made sure to document it in, within my own mind, on paper, video, stuff like that. So, yeah, like, definitely things like that, I never take for granted. You know? Yeah, I try to definitely, yeah, you know? Um, I know you dropped Dick and Soda, I think that was like a week ago, right? Yeah. Just okay. saw that body about a week ago. Right. <laughs> you dropped it like, you dropped a week ago. Um, you have Last of Heart and Hurts coming up. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask you about the title. What does the title mean? And, um... Like kind of what what kind of what did you want to share with that? Shit, I'm gonna get into it a little deeper, a little later, closer to the thing. But of course, I would say this: like, as a black person, right? You ever went to like a funeral? Well, let me tell you something about my family. Mm -hmm. So, like, when somebody died in my family, we go like after they viewing or after the funeral, and we go have a cookout. You know, mm -hmm. and like at the cookout, like. The mood is like so like morose, but like and kind of anxious. Like the air is like alive, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With like emotion. Um, and sometimes, like in in those moments, like like my whole family would share like such a good, ridiculous laugh, like a laugh that make you like thankful that you belong to the family. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so, like, laughing so hard hurts. It's basically about the juxtaposition of, like, really in intense and deep pain or, like, really, like, uh, quaking laughter. You know what I'm saying? Right. For sure. I know exactly what you mean because, um, yeah, I mean, my family basically does the same thing, except, you know, we're in the... We're in the north, so you can't have a cookout because it's cold. So <laughs> just have like the repass indoors, and everybody comes to that. And it's like energy, the energy, right? The energy is like almost indescribable because it's not like that in any other situation. It's like sad, but it's also kind of like happy because you have everybody together, and y'all are kind of talking about the memories and stuff like that. So it has definitely. the value it hurts, but it also has like the value in the other way. So yeah, I definitely understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, so um. I know that, um... And it's about, oh, finally. So basically, like, pair it with the pain of loss, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the joy of freedom from pain and suffering, like, in terms of a graduation, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, what this album means to me in terms of my life position and what it documents as far as, like, what I'm talking about on the album is, like, you know what I'm saying? The pain of loss and, like, the joy in graduation. No. Yeah. I, I also wanted to definitely uh, give you credit, too, for, um, you know, just really being pro-Black in a very revolutionary way and not, um, and never, like, compromising that. And saying, I think saying stuff that I think other artists would shy away from, I mean, spe specifically, um, what I was thinking about was when you were, um, rapping about um me too and pr the importance of protecting women and stuff like that and 
not letting other people, not letting men go against it, uh, yeah. kind of presence and stuff like that. Because I think that stuff is, I think that stuff is important. And right, and that's also, that's pro-black in its essence too, because just like you said, you know, um, then I've always thought what you've thought where you were like, you know, we're not free unless women are too. Right. Um, it's true, but I mean, I don't. I feel like there's probably uh, there may be other people who feel that way, but you made it a point to kind of talk about that and like, and kind of like talking that. about it. Like, yeah, talking about it, but like ultimately, like I'm a man, I'm a mm -hmm. young man, I don't got it all figured out. Was more important to me than talking about it because I feel like it's been talked about. Well, not talk has has been talked about like in terms of completion, but it is being talked about mm -hmm. by people far more educated and stuff than me. Mm -hmm. My thing is, is from going to school, from just different kind of life experiences, I understand the value of like distilling knowledge. Like mm -hmm. my my role is like to propagandize like my righteous view of the world, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why I like, I be trying to make it catchy and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like um, it's convincing work and, 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 the social capital of coolness you know what i'm saying right right yeah. and i do i mean I, I absolutely i mean not that it matters that i think you're doing the right thing but you absolutely are but i mean in the sense of i think you also understand that you got to do what you can do in your world in your corner and i think with the music and just how you carry yourself and the things that you do even outside of the music because you know you live it so yeah. i you're you're definitely affecting the world in that very specific way. I think that's like I'm also trying. The only reason why I discount like certain things is because like I'm super open. Like this phase of my life, I'm like about growing into a more able and more available leader. You know what I'm saying? In a ways that's important to me and my family and my community. You know what I'm saying? And I like welcome that growth. And anybody who trying to contribute to it for real, right, right. No, and I, I think that's important. I, I think um, I don't know. I I mean, just you know, just all around, man. I've just you know been really impressed with the music and the stuff that you've been doing. And um, you know, like I got that. I think it's important. I think there's space for, you know, everything in the genre. But I, the stuff that you're doing right now and the, the things you're saying and the way you're approaching them, I I for real, I think you're affecting other people too and other artists. There's somebody who's like 13 right now listen to your shit and it's like and it's like you know that's the that's kind of the way to go and they'll maybe they'll start rapping one day and incorporate kind of your viewpoints and like also take the things you say and further research them and use them to learn more too i think that kind of stuff you're realistically you're giving back you know um yeah, so much people are important to me you know what i'm saying right kind of the older homies like other rappers like thinkers just oh yeah just everybody important to me like i feel like uh it's like the baby of, of every of the family, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so it's a blessing to get to be the older brother too, you know? Right, right. Um, okay, talking about you know your music, what, yeah. what would you, what would you say are like your can't miss songs? Like if somebody if somebody walked up to you and they had no idea who you were, what would you be like? You need to hear these songs. Um. I would say probably like time travel. Mm -hmm. Um bacon soda though. Yeah, go stream bacon soda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh yeah, time travel, bacon soda, probably self love, um love of money. Um really this whole album though, this album got some got some shit, like some new mobby joints on it. I can't hear lot to you. <laughs> there you go. Look. I love hearing stuff like that, man. Cause like this, this is your show, so you should absolutely, <laughs> you should absolutely just be like, yes, I have joints. Yes, it's hard. Yes, go listen. This like, shit over hard though. Like that's all right. I say. This new shit, like it's not just hard because it's the new shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I I appreciate you taking like taking that rapper cliche off the table. Like, I'm not just saying it's hard because it's not, <laughs> like, it's For hard. Real. All right, right. It's just a real, this shit. And bro, like, let me get into it later, but like, yeah, it's some real, I didn't put it in a real, I, I'm sorry. Are you getting mm -hmm. me? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't really put in like the um, real emotional and like physical and like self improvement leg work to be able to make this album. You know, for sure. Right. Right. Um, so I know the album is coming very soon. Um, what is there? When people like go into it, like the first time listening to it, kind of what would you want their mindset to be? How do you want them to approach it? Um, listen to the whole thing. Mm-hmm. That's number one, all the way through, and don't say shit like, like you listen to it. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Like, if I could control how everybody listens to shit, I would tell everybody, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I, I thought you were going to say don't shuffle, but I don't feel like, I feel like that's, like, obvious. I feel like you don't have to tell people that. People who listen to new yeah, albums. Definitely don't, don't shuffle my album. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what what the hell? That's actually so crazy. If they can shuffle my album, like, you hate me. <laughs> but was, yeah. the first time like that's crazy like definitely listen to the whole thing go somewhere quiet it's it's short it ain't too long mm-hmm. and like be gentle because like it's a uh... so in between making this album I made like an album called Shango right about like the the Nigerian God of Thunder all of it I mean Orisha of Thunder and all of this right mm-hmm. and so very masculine album, very manly album. Like, this mm-hmm. album is, like, very feminine, like, mm-hmm. it's girly and, like, for babies and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want people to just listen to it like it's that, you know? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, to wrap it up, what mm-hmm. is... What's something that people, most people don't know about you? Like, they would be surprised to know about you. It could be, like, a hobby, interest, anything. It is something interesting about me. <laughs> Shit. Um, I don't know, bro. I feel like I'm growing into, like, niggas, like, like stereotypes of me, bro. <laughs> like, I started being OD healthy and drinking smoothies and running and shit, walking the dog. <laughs> like, I ain't used to be like that, though. Like, I used to... <laughs> Shit. Uh, some of the niggas really know that about Lido is a uh, shit. I'm good at 2K. Okay. Um, damn, it's something I know how to do, though. <laughs> damn, I'm that useless. Um, <laughs> shit. Uh, I, know how, I know how to write a little bit of HTML code, CSS, for my daddy. Uh, <laughs> So that, oh, no, no. that is interesting because a lot of people don't know how. I definitely don't know how. I should know a little bit by now. I don't know anything. Um, yeah, I just – oh, something interesting about me, I'm super into, like, uh, uh, like, first, I'm into super – I'm super into tattoos. That's, like, a new thing. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'm super into, like, jewelry. Like, I want to own, own a jewelry store and, like, give away gold as equity, like, to black community and stuff like that. Wow, that's hard. Yeah. Get an equity idea. I think that's really creative. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, all right. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I think this went great. I think you, um, you know, you gave us a lot of yourself. I definitely appreciate that. And, um, you know, 100%. Um, definitely looking forward to the album coming out and, you know, the reception and everybody talking about it. You know, it's definitely yeah. anticipated. People have absolutely been looking for it, looking forward to it. I'm sure you know that. But, you know, uh, I think I, I'm sure it'll be hard, and I know that you're, you know, happy with it. Definitely, I'm grateful for the opportunity, man. Thank you for having me. Like, uh, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got a lot to show on this new one, and I done changed and grew a lot, and I hope it's represented. You know. Absolutely, man. Thank you, Priest. Well, man. Yeah, people, you don't know. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Aight? I'm out.